2016 was a record year for venture capital investment in Europe. Businesses raised 16.2 billion euros, up 12% on 2015. Joining me to review and look ahead, Freddie Atcham, founder and CEO of Rosemont Group. What trends have you seen in VC and private equity and where do they point for the next 12 months? Over the last 12 months, we've seen a fluctuation of investments due to Brexit and due to presidential elections. Um, both in the US and in France, we saw a slowdown. But 2017 has been a real revelation, a storming year, 800 million invested in startups in the first quarter in the UK. Although the, the deal sizes have been larger, the number of transactions have been less. But that's not only in the UK, that's a trend that's been uh, that's global. So in the VC sector and private equity, I think they're just pulling their socks up and keep going, which is phenomenal, really. What are investors' current views of the UK and what do they anticipate for the next couple of years? I think investor views of the UK has been really positive and I think the outlook for the next few years has been also quite positive. There was scepticism, apprehension since the various economic uncertainties. I wouldn't say it's gone, but um, we, we've learned to live with it and we've learned to keep politics out of our business plans for the next uh, coming years. Transactions have been fluid. You've had SoftBank acquire Arm Holding for $24 billion. Skyscanner sold to the Chinese for $1.4 billion. Currency Cloud raising £20 million. You've got Funding Circle also raising £82 million. All these point to continued M&A activity, which is always a great sign. The Americans have looked at the weak pound and seen it as more bang for their buck. So you've had the Americans come in as well. That in itself is a very, very positive sign. And I think um, as more IPO um, activities open up in the course of the next 12 months, there'll be more liquidity in the market uh, and therefore more transactions. What changes should we see in Europe as a result of the recent regulation changes around venture capital funds? We've had a reform in the European uh, Venture Capitalist Fund regulations where they've allowed fund managers with 500 million or more in assets to be able to invest in small to mid-cap regulated companies, whereas previously it was only the unregulated sort of SMEs. Uh, so that in itself has allowed uh, more economy of scale for the investor. I hope personally for um, more unified regulations or continued unified regulations. That way it does not deter European VCs from coming into the UK. Governments understand what's required and uh, they know it's all about uh, making sure we give incentives to these businesses to keep investing in UK businesses. And I think definitely that's one thing the UK is very good at, creating initiatives and enterprise schemes. And I think there'll be more incentives like that that will help UK businesses. Freddie, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Click through to our next video with Freddie Atcham to find out how crowdfunding is disrupting the venture capital industry. And please subscribe for the latest business, finance and strategic insights transforming Europe.